With all of the focus on the protests, the COVID-19 pandemic continues. There are more than 260 people fighting the new coronavirus in intensive care right now. Yesterday, we passed 1,000 deaths in Minnesota. 14 new deaths reported just within the last few minutes. Every Sunday morning, we check in with the nurse on the front lines of treatment at Bethesda in St. Paul. Here's Esme Murphy and Emily Allen. And welcome, Emily Allen. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, we really appreciate it. How are you doing this morning? I'm doing pretty good. It's been an emotional weekend for everybody, I'm sure. So we are hanging in there. Right. Now, you have been working for now 10 weeks uh, at Bethesda Hospital in the COVID unit with a great group of people and treating them the sickest of the sick. That is right near the Capitol uh, in one of the hot spots. Right. For, for what they were worried about last night. What kind of security did you folks get? You know, we saw a ton of people around the Capitol. The National Guard was there. We saw several law enforcement. Um, I also think that they upped the security of the hospital as well. Um, we had to have our badges um, to show to get in and out of the streets and the areas. So I think they did a really good great job of protecting us and making sure that we could take care of these people. Okay. Your, your husband is a North St. Paul police officer. He was called in. I mean, did all this add to your stress? Oh, gosh, yes. You know, I, I feel terrible, and I can speak on his behalf, too, that this happened to George Floyd. Um, it shouldn't have happened, and it's really unfortunate not only for him and his family, but as well for the other law enforcement personnel who work so hard and care so much about their community and just would never dream of doing anything like that. Absolutely. So. Um, obviously, the numbers on COVID still going up, the numbers of seriously sick people going up. Uh, what has it been like uh, on the COVID ward? Every day is busy. There's not one day where anybody has downtime or time to sit. Um, every day is busy. They open that second unit now at St. Joe's Hospital, and I'm pretty sure that, you know, within the week they'll be full as well. Okay. well. Were there any hitches with getting patients in or even patients out because of all the security? I mean, it was such an extraordinary series of days. I'm not sure. I can't speak on that. Um, but, you know, I think that Fairview and, you know, the whole state of Minnesota healthcare system has just done an excellent job, and I'm sure they had a great plan for that. One, one of the concerns is, and we've all seen the pictures of thousands of people standing shoulder to shoulder in these protests. Are you concerned about that? Of course, yeah. I mean, I feel like, you know, unfortunately we've gone from one extreme to COVID with now this other extreme to protesting. Um, and people unfortunately have forgotten. Like I've seen a few news clips where people have masks on, but they're definitely not social distancing. And this is just gonna hurt everybody in the long run. So you're worried about a spike? Oh yeah, more than, you know, more than we are seeing already. It's going to happen. You know, one of the concerns at the beginning of this was ICU beds. And right. the, the number of people in ICU beds is just under 300 for COVID right now. Um, they've added ICU beds. They've got ICU beds at the ready. Do they have enough staff? Do they have enough, you know, PPE, all of that? I, so the PPE situation is starting to dwindle. Um, you know, we're doing the best we can. We're conserving it, only giving it to those people who absolutely are necessary to be using it. Um, I know there's one specific type of N95 mask. There's several types, but one in particular that we're starting to um, have very limited supplies of. Um, so staff are being retested to see if they can fit and wear the other types that we have. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's, the Ellen. staffing thing is another another big, you know, question mark. They're doing the best they can to get people in, but with the spike and the rise of everything, it's very hard to keep up with the demand. We're stretched very thin. All right. Well, Emily Allen, it is always a pleasure, and keep going. We so appreciate you, and we appreciate your husband and all the wonderful law enforcement officers, uh, men and women that are out there on the front lines, keeping us safe and doing the right thing. That means the world to us. Thank you guys so much.